Type 5 Chiri 2 is a medium tank in Japanese tech tree that at first glance looks normal. Except the machine gun, of course. But it's not so simple as it appears from the outside. When I think of this tank, the first two words that come to mind are offensive capabilities. Not only because it has a decent cannon and high damaging rounds, but primarily because of how quickly this cannon operates. The first three shots can be fired in a very short amount of time. First order armor rack contains two additional ammunition slots conveniently located right next to the cannon breech. Because of that, as long as you have rounds here, the cannon can be reloaded in just 3.3 seconds with aced crew. It's not an automated autoloader, because crew skills still affect how quickly rounds are loaded from here, but even a completely unskilled loader will be able to load the first couple of rounds faster than pretty much any other tank of your battle rating reloads with aced crew. Because of insanely fast reload, failing to hit or penetrate the opponent is not so punishing as you can adjust your aim and fire again before the opponent reacts, which allows you to play more aggressively and sometimes take risky shots, for example when firing on the move or without direct line of sight, which would be too risky when playing with vehicles with long reload times. Needless to say, opponent's crew agility skill becomes pretty much useless as you will be able to finish off the damaged vehicle before the opponent has a chance to do anything. Especially fun were situations when after I missed a shot, opponents tried to rush my position, thinking that they had enough time while I was reloading, but that didn't end well. After using both rounds in the first stage ammo rack, the reload speed will increase to around 10 seconds, which is a bit longer than average. So this tank has this advantage in situations when combat lasts for an extended period of time. But if you stop firing for a while, the first stage ammo rack will be replenished at a speed approximately 15 seconds per round. So you should have a reload advantage most of the time especially on bigger maps where opponents are spread over a big area and there are longer gaps between the engagements. The rounds themselves have a decent penetration. It's not the best, you will struggle when facing Churchills and Jumbo, but if compared to other medium tanks using APHE rounds, penetration is at least average. When shooting at frontal plates of the enemy, you will need to aim at weak spots, but at the same time, if most tanks can be penetrated frontally, the penetration is good enough. Regarding the damage, there is not much to talk about, as most APHU rounds of 75mm caliber or above work exactly the same way. Most of the time, one penetration in a crew compartment will grant the unlucky player a free ticket to the hangar. Projectile's muzzle velocity is way better than average, 865 meters per second. It allows you to hit distant targets or even aim at their weak spots easier, while your opponents might struggle getting the right distance when shooting back. The only thing that limits your ability when shooting someone on another edge of the map is poor optics which is nothing unusual and totally expected for a low rank tank, but sometimes you might need to activate a pro gamer's manual zoom skill. So all the offensive capabilities of Chiri 2 are at least average and in some cases even great. But there is one thing that was a complete disappointment. One thing that I expected to be at least somewhat useful turned out to be so bad that I don't even have a single clip to show it being able to make a killing blow. A secondary 37mm gun. One of the most useless guns I ever saw. It fires projectiles that have more than 3 times less penetration than the main gun, so most enemies at vehicle's battle rating cannot be penetrated. 
It can only aim in front of the hull at 20 degrees arc, and despite also using APHE rounds, it's too small to deal reasonable post-penetration damage. The only thing it's good at is providing a distracting circle when in third-person view. I cannot remember how many times I randomly started panicking, thinking that my cannon was broken because I got these circles mixed up. Another useless thing is a low-caliber machine gun located right next to the useless cannon, which is also limited to shoot only in front of the hull. And the complete king of uselessness is a machine gun sticking on the turret's left that cannot even be fired. The armor of this tank varies from 35mm on sides to 75mm in front. In theory, it's thick enough to be useful, but there are so little slopes that most opponents will have no difficulties penetrating Chiri 2 frontally. And even if you angle the hull, there will always be easily penetratable plates facing the enemy. At the same time, there are 5 crew members and some space inside, so one penetration, especially with a less damaging round, does not necessarily mean being destroyed. Nevertheless, the best way to survive is not being hit in the first place. Luckily, gun depression can help you with that. You can minimize tank's silhouette by playing hull down, since minus 10 degrees cannon's vertical guidance should be enough to comfortably sit behind most hills. The turret's rotation, on the other hand, was not comfortable at all. The fastest it can spin is 12 degrees per second, which is not a complete disaster, but there will be issues when fighting someone at a close range. Especially in city maps, where opponents can unexpectedly appear from various directions and you might not have enough time to turn the cannon towards them. Chiri 2 has a mediocre mobility. The maximum speed, which is only reachable on roads, is just 45 kph. In addition to that, poor acceleration and slow turning makes it feel more like a heavy tank. The reverse is 8 kph which should be enough for the most basic maneuvers when you need to move a short distance to get behind the nearest cover. In arcade, tank's maneuverability becomes noticeably better, but that's pretty much the only significant improvement. The vehicle doesn't have issues with muzzle velocity or penetration, so arcade ballistics indicator is not making the gameplay too different. Battles in arcade are more intense, and because of that I was running out of the first stage ammo rack quite fast, which makes it less useful. In general, to be successful in this game mode, vehicle needs good frontal armor, penetration and APH rounds. Chiri 2 has 2 out of 3, so it's suitable here, but I would prefer it in realistic, just because the armor is not so important when opponents cannot see your name tag a thousand meters away. Firepower is the main advantage of this tank. Well penetrating, very damaging rounds, fired in a quick succession, are able to drastically change the situation in your team's favor in a very short amount of time. This tank makes wonders if you can't get behind enemy lines. How do you get here with a slow, unmaneuverable tank is a different question. I would rate Chiri 2 8 machine guns on the left side of the turret because apparently no one can attack it from the right side out of 10. I enjoyed playing with this vehicle. I was able to take risky shots that I probably wouldn't be taking with other tanks. Any aiming mistakes can be fixed faster than the opponent can understand what happened, and even when fighting multiple enemies at once, there is a good chance to emerge victorious.